Hey guys, today I wanted to do a product review. Before I start anything, I'm extremely, extremely disappointed in the products I received, so this is going to be a pretty negative video, I must say. I recently placed an order with Crown Brushes. It was my first time placing an order with them. As you guys know, I normally use the e.l.f. dollar brushes, but I thought it's Christmas time. I bought this about two weeks ago, by the way. I thought it's Christmas time, um, my mom told me to order it, it could be a late Christmas present. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to splurge, I'm going to get a really nice brush set. If you guys watched Candy Johnson's videos, she recently did a video talking about how if you, an if you um, enter the code CANDY, you will get this brush set, which is regularly $50, I believe, for like $29.99. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity, it's Christmas, my mom told me to go ahead and order it. So I was really excited. I love my e.l.f. brushes, but I just, I've really been wanting like a really nice top brand brush company um, makeup set, makeup brush set. So I was really excited to get it, I was very excited to try it. I recently got it in the mail just a few hours ago actually. And from the moment I opened it, I was very disappointed. Um, Shipping-wise, it got here relatively quickly. Packaging was fine. Nothing wrong with that. The products, the brushes themselves, are incredibly horrible. I do not recommend this to anyone. I was so upset about it, I emailed the company. I asked them to... I Well, first I emailed them saying that I was very disappointed. Then the more I thought about it, I was like, this isn't worth the money. I ended up spending a little over $40. I bought the set and a couple extra brushes. I was like, this is not worth close to 50 bucks for this. Honestly, it's crap. It's not worth it. So I told them I was very upset. I told them what was wrong with the brushes. Then I sent them another email a few minutes later saying, can I have information to get a complete refund somehow to return this and get my money back, or actually my parents' money back since they got this for me for Christmas. I have not heard back from them yet. I did email them a few hours ago. Um, I don't know if I'll back, if I will hear back from them. On their website, they do not have any contact information. The only reason I had their email was because when you place an order, it says if you need any help, email us at da da da. But um, I couldn't find any information on their website, so I had to go back through my old emails to try to find an email address. So I'll start off with some, just some of the extra brushes that I got that I was excited to try. Um, the first one I show you is completely broken. I opened it and it fell apart. This is a brush. You're supposed to put loose powder in this side and then it comes out here. I thought this would be super cool. This would be super convenient to carry in my purse. It's broken and the brush itself is complete crap. Um, you, the camera's not picking it up but it's extremely rough. It's it's just, there's no way I'm going to use this on my face. Um, all the, it's just all over the place. It's really gross. And then there was a case, there, this covered it, but it completely broke apart. This little black part in here is supposed to be on this, but it broke off of it. Uh, this was a complete waste of my money. The few brushes I'm showing you here are all $3 or under. It's just complete crap. There's no way I could use this on my face. And I can't even use it now because it is broken. I can't, I have nothing to put over it. So that was a complete waste of my money. The next item I got was, um, I just want to say this real quick. I don't really complain about stuff a lot. If I buy a product and I don't like it, I just chalk it up to experience. But I was just so upset about how much this stuff was and the quality that it was. I just had to email them. Normally I don't do that. Normally I'm just like, okay, it's fine. That's just... You know, it's fine, I'll give it to somebody else, I'll throw it away, I'll deal with it, it's fine. But I was just so upset about the cost, the price, and just the quality of the stuff. Some things I'm going to show you were completely filthy. It's just, this is extremely unacceptable from any company, especially such a well-known company as Crown Brushes. So the next thing I got was this Kabuki, it's not Kabuki, but it's just a travel brush. It comes in this little metal case. You open it, there's a brush inside. This brush just... This honestly feels like something that you would give a little kid to play with. This isn't a real makeup brush. You cannot use this. Um, the hairs are just all over the place. They're not staying. It's extremely, extremely rough. This pokes your face. It scratches it. 
and then this like comes up and it's very hard a lot of times if you push it down right it's, it's very hard to get up um, I almost broke it trying to get it it's almost impossible to get this back up so this was a complete waste of money and I was very very disappointed this I have one that I got from China on eBay for 99 cents and it's better quality than this um, I can't it's just it's gonna fall apart before I even use it um, and then it doesn't close right because it's off it's not lined up right so it doesn't close all the way so that was that then I also got I got three of these pink um, three of the pink brushes from their pink line so I was like well maybe these will be okay these are supposed to be a little bit nicer you know maybe these will be fine so the first one I looked at was this one I just was looking at it like that and literally puffs of dust were coming off of it. It was really kind of gross. Um, I mean the quality seems okay for this one. I mean it's just, you know, it's just your typical, it's shedding right now and I haven't, I literally, I haven't used any of these so I can't say how well the quality of applying makeup is but if it's to the point where I can't even apply makeup with it, I'm not going to bother trying to apply makeup. I'm not going to waste my makeup. But this is actually shedding already. And all the little hairs are coming out. They're kind of all over the place. So, um, this was completely filthy. It was saturated in dust. <laughs> I was very disappointed. I haven't even bothered to open these two. I'm not going to. This is just a typical eyeliner brush. And this is... It said that it was a smudge brush, but what it is, is the cheap eyeshadow applicators that come with any kit you buy. So I'm not even bothering to open those. If they return them, that's amazing. That will be great. But then I'll be stuck with shipping. So no matter what happens, unless they just give me a refund, which isn't going to happen, I'm kind of going to be out money and I'll see out some brushes. But um, So those were the extra little brushes that I thought I'd buy for fun. None of which I would recommend buying. They were all extremely crap. If you want brushes, go um, to Islip's Face, go to Target, and get the e.l.f. brushes for $1. They are seriously 100% better quality than these brushes. So then moving on to this, which was the main reason that I placed an order. It's this. It comes in this um, fake snake skin. This is okay. The case is okay. I was very upset, though, as soon as I looked at it. This is completely scratched up. The camera just picking up glares but it is completely scratched it looks like it's been used it has dings all over it it's discolored and it's just gross um, this is extremely flimsy it's not gonna hold it open as you see if you just pull it see I latched it here latched it down barely touch it it's open so that's not doing anything um, inside you get 15 brushes none of which I am anywhere near impressed with, let alone happy with. Um, I mean, some of these are okay. They are shedding. Um, I just picked this one up and it started shedding. I just randomly have touched these and they start shedding. It's not like I've washed these a hundred times. Um, honestly, some of, them, I, some of them are okay. This is supposed to be an eyeshadow brush, but this is bigger than my whole eye. I thought that was kind of ironic. Um, I mean, sure, some of these are fine. You know, like this eyeliner one seems perfectly fine. Great for the eyeliner. Little angled one seems really nice. Um, this is a powder brush. It's kind of, it's not very soothing to use on the face. Let's just say that. It's um, kind of scratchy and pokey. Uh, once again, okay. I mean, I wouldn't be upset if I got this at Walmart for five bucks. Or if I paid five bucks for it, but um, this is not worth thirty dollars, let alone the original fifty dollar price tag. These are probably the worst quality brushes I've ever seen. These are worse. I used to have like little brushes from Walmart when I was a kid that I played with. These are worse quality than those, and those were not the best. I mean, these are something that I would expect to see around Christmas time in the cheap package of the brushes, and some of those are actually really nice, but. You know, just like those cheap, crappy brushes that never sell or that little kids play with. Um, like I said, I wouldn't be that upset if I would pay just like maybe five or ten bucks for it because then that would, you know, that would be okay. But 
this wasn't, all the stuff was not worth anywhere near what I paid for. So I was extremely upset about that, mainly just because I was so excited, like I said, to finally have like a really, really nice brush set, you know, a really high quality, um, you know, a professional grade makeup brush set. But honestly, if I compare like my e.l.f. brushes to this, if I saw this and didn't know it was a crown brush, I would seriously think that the e.l.f. was this like amazing high quality brand and that this was something that somebody picked up at the dollar store as a joke or something because it's just not worth it. Um, so this yet again goes to prove that just because it has a fancy name and it has a fancy price tag does not mean the quality is better. Um, I know I'm always promoting e.l.f. It's just because I love them. I honestly would have rather been handed the $40 to go and spend on 40 uh, you know, 40 items from e.l.f. or 20 of the $3 or something. You know, I, w I, much, rather, I much rather would have spent the money on e.l.f. products or, you know, something that I know is going to be better quality than this. Like I said, I emailed them probably a good three hours ago. I still haven't heard back from them. I'm not expecting to hear back, you know, quickly. I I'm just hoping that I will hear back from them. I don't know their return policy. Again, that's not listed on their website. They don't have very much information on their website. It's basically order it, pay for it, you're done. They don't have any return policies. They don't have any phone numbers. There was nothing I could find to contact them. So I am extremely disappointed. Not only, I mean, not only was the quality bad, they were filthy. They were literally, I touched it and dust was coming off of it. When you see that in a brush, that makes you not want to use a brush because you don't know where it's been. It's probably been sitting in a warehouse somewhere for 10 years or something. You know, it's like, I don't really want to use it if it's that saturated in dust. And then when you, you know, try to open the one brush and it just breaks in your hand, that just sets the whole thing off. And also, this is such a little detail, but it came in a bubble wrapped envelope. I was kind of expecting a box. Um, they're very lucky it didn't get smashed because they didn't put any bubble wrap around it, any tissue paper, nothing. It was just this in a bubble wrap envelope. It wasn't marked fragile. It actually had writing all over it. I don't know why it had like Sharpie marker, just like of random letters. I don't know why. Um, so honestly, the only best thing I can say about this is they do ship quickly. If that's anything good. Um, shipping is overpriced, but most places are overpriced shipping. These products are extremely overpriced. I literally would spend ten dollars on this, but since it has the case, I would spend ten bucks on this. Um, it's worse quality than anything I've tried. This is these are definitely the worst brushes. I know crown brushes get a lot of glory. I honestly don't know why. I know they have like really expensive brushes, like you know, fifteen, twenty dollar brushes just for one brush. Maybe those are better, but I'm not gonna pay that much. Um, I'm not gonna be shopping with them again. It wasn't worth it. I didn't get anything good out of this. Um, I'm hoping I'll get a refund. You know, I honestly, what I would like is for them to give me a full refund um, without me having to return all this crap. But I know that won't happen. This is the real world, so I'm hoping that at least I'll be able to return it and get my parents' money back. If not, then I guess chalk it up to experience. But I do not re recommend buying crown brushes at all. I know they have a lot of hype about them. I don't see it. Um, I might do an update video if I get a response from them, letting you guys know what happened. If I don't get a response, then I definitely won't do a video because I'm already really upset about this. And I know I've been babbling for a while. I just was really upset with the amount of money I spent or again my parents spent as a Christmas gift with the amount of money that was spent close to fifty dollars I expect to get some good quality nice brushes out of these so that was my rant and rave about these brushes I just wanted to let you guys know so you guys don't go and buy the ones that I bought again I mean maybe you guys would like them but honestly they're just not worth the money at all so I'm hoping that I'll get a response from them if I do like I said, maybe I'll do an update video, I don't know, but um, that's just my opinion of crown brushes, so hopefully you guys maybe will think twice about ordering from them, and I guess that's it, I should probably end this video, so I'll talk to you guys later, bye.